Patrick is locking the door. She texts him. Let me see your hands. Hey guys, so here we are um, in the middle of doing our daily non-hunting routine when we get a phone call on a location from a guy that's bonds being revoked. Um, it's a $5,000 bond for obstructing, um, resisting arrest. Um, we have a tip that he's at a house getting legal advice. So we are hauling ass over there. Anything you want to add there? No. No, he doesn't want to. He, the man of man of little words. So here we go. Hopefully it goes smooth. Hopefully he doesn't resist and give us a lot of problems. He shouldn't see this coming, right? Because it's a revoke. Yep. So he shouldn't see it coming. And there is a buttload of snow everywhere, except on the road. So it's kind of chilly over here. So here we go. So. We're sitting on this sunny day of a balmy 39 degrees, eating our Power Crunch, drinking our Red Bull Red Can crap, whatever that is, waiting on our guy to arrive to his free lunch and legal advice. <laughs> oh, I, we just started. His legal advice is us coming in the door and arresting him. That's his legal advice. So, we're just still waiting here. Well, it's been about 20 minutes since we recorded the last one. So, if there's no more of these between this and the going in the front door, then he shows up. Let's see how good this information is. Any parting words of advice for... Uh, Surveillance? No. No, I mean, like I said, man of little words. Hang on. Hey, so, our guy's here. Hey, how you doing? Um, he's here, so here we go. Who's going in first? You think he's got a piece? Uh, no, she, she said he just took a jacket. Should I go leave for her? Yeah. On the ground right now. On the ground right now. On the ground. On your belly. On your belly. On your belly. I have a hands behind your back. I have a hands behind your back. I have a gun in my back too. Okay, okay hands behind your back. I didn't want to put my hands behind my back with a gun there. I understand. Okay, well, shit, man. I didn't like kill. No, anybody. I appreciate it. I appreciate it's it. It's just an obstruction justice warrant. Yeah. This is stupid. I was just getting ready to call Chris and talk to him. He was going to call you guys and give me a few more days. Why are you packing a gun, dude? Huh? Why are you packing a gun with uh, a warrant? Well, because this is Idaho. I don't have a home. Uh, you know. Well, I appreciate you being honest about it. Any knives or anything? Yes, I have some knives off Okay. I'm not resisting. Nope. You're cool. Left side. All right. Anything? What's what? What do we got on this side? Keys. Some keys. Nothing's gonna stick. Poke me. No, not. Nothing. No needles or anything like that. No, I don't do needles. 
Okay. Well, everybody gets asked the same questions, man. Got a knife in my boot. Okay. Well, you're like me, dude. You got shit everywhere. Uh, so <laughs> Holy cow. Yes. You set off a metal detector. <laughs> you want to shut that door so it's not getting that draft in here? Holy cow. Um, my daughter just Right boot? That case is snapped in there. What's this? What's this over here? A SD card. Okay. Go ahead. Roll it back in your belly, sir. Could you just, like loosen these a little bit? Like, yeah. I, give me. A, give I me. A, kill anybody, man. Like, all right. Give me a second. I'm, I'll double cuff you. You want to take everything with you to jail? No, cuffs. I'm gonna double him. He's. You got big wrist. Really, you guys want like make me let me make a phone call to my jail boss right now? Yeah, just chill. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta secure you. That's fine. I just no. I need to call Chris. I, he, my mom sent me a message and said that I needed to call him, and that if I called him and let him know that you know that I needed a couple more days, that he would call the bounty hunters off. And I just, you know, I, my priorities were to get her over here to talk to you so she could get her stuff taken care of. And I uh, didn't make the phone call in time. It's my own fault. And the problem here is this jewelry you got on your left wrist. Yeah, you can. Well, I'm trying to figure the system out here. It's just a little clasp. Yep. Can we get... There we go. Do you have a Ziploc by chance? Okay. How's this one come off? What? This one, this other one. In. Oh, I got it. Same thing. Make it cool with the double one. Yeah. Wow. I can't figure that one out. It's just the same as that was. Yeah, I know. It's just the angle that it's at. It's, it's underneath you. So. You got some big wrists, man. All right, I'm going to release this wrist from here, and then we're going to put the cuffs together so you're more comfortable, all right? Mm -hmm. But this one's doubled. Is that more comfortable for you? Yeah, it's just this one's still a little tight. Yeah. <clears throat> Because of this, it's because of this bracelet. Okay, I got it. See what's going on. Oh. We twisted our wrist in here. Your X26. No. You didn't do anything wrong.
They can't get it out of the. If you just uh, you get it unclasped. Yeah, I got it unclasped. Just trying to get it out out of that thing. Here, let me let me take a pick out. You just have to push that thing right through. Right, well, if you take your finger and just push it right through the hole. There you go. More comfortable? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, where are the ziplocks? There's a drawer right there, the second drawer down. This one? Uh huh, second drawer down. And there's the box of them. You might need two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I usually have them on me, but sorry. I'm gonna. I owe you, I owe you two zip lines. Josh, do you need to call anybody for you, anything like that? No, it seems like they were already called. <laughs> They're not gonna let me call Chris and have him just. If he answers his phone. Nothing else that we that they're gonna discover at the jail, nothing else we gotta worry about. I mean your pockets are empty, so nothing else? Okay. Alrighty, bring your knee bring this knee to your belly. We're gonna come up on your on your knees. And then, there you go. Okay. It's a zippo wick in one of my batteries. Is one of those not double? Oh, the, it's probably the... He's a big dude. We might have to move the seat up a little. Alright, anything you do between here and Kootenai County Jail that we consider a threat, we can use all force up until lethal force, you understand? I realize that. That's okay. Why I you guys no, everybody gets Make the same speech, call. man. Every, everyone gets the same speech, man. I appreciate you being honest with all the weapons and stuff. I really... That goes a long way for, to us, so we appreciate it. So we've been waiting here, what, five hours um, for this guy to show up, and uh, he's finally here, and when he's here, he, he, when he's here, he tells us, at least he told us, he also had, um, he also had a lot of metal on him, a lot of knives, boot knife, four or five knives. Dude, all this for 300 bucks. So we're heading to the jail. Just for a minute.
Look right here for me, sir. My life's a fucking shit show. Yeah. Alright, what what in these bags can't be brought in? Uh, I mean, I mean, can they just disseminate that themselves or? We can't just hand them over the It's misdemeanor restrict. Yeah, I realize it's misdemeanor. I fucking. You, c you can't do two they let, years I, for they'll, misdemeanor. They'll let pedophiles fucking walk away and they'll throw me in fucking jail. We're going to the left here, sir. Let her, let her come out. Let her come out. Excuse me. Thank you. Thanks. Yep.